or nausea and vomiting is a multifactorial problem and we don't know uh, which factors are always in there. We need to start evaluating the patients, identifying the risk um, and prescribing antiemetics based on that particular risk beyond just the antiemetics that are directly linked with uh, managing chemotherapy uh, related problems. Let's say for example that we have um, uh, a patient with uh, breast cancer uh, who is receiving um, highly metagenic, uh, metagenic chemotherapy, cyclophosphamide and adriamycin. She's a young patient, um, so we're going to prescribe typically a three-drug three drug combination. 5-HT3 receptor antagonists, dexamethasone and uh, NK1, uh, neurokinin-1 uh, receptor antagonists. However, if you had that patient being very young, early 30s, um, and she's very anxious. And when she was pregnant 10 years before, she had uh, uh, a strong experience with nausea and vomiting during pregnancy. That puts her in much higher risk. So we need to support this patient beyond the standard guidelines of three drug combinations. And because she's been anxious, we probably we need to add um, an anti-anxiety drug, uh, such as lorazepam. Uh, or olanzapine if she has a lot of nausea uh, experience and so on. So we need to think about what are the different factors and add something else uh, in addition to the standard three drug combination. We've gone far uh, over the past 20 years. We actually made a big difference in terms of the patient symptom experience related to chemotherapy vomiting. Vomiting has been almost eliminated, uh, but we haven't done enough good job for uh, the management of nausea and that's where we're focusing now uh, and in the future and that's why we call it that nausea is the new black. I wouldn't uh, think that um, the field is uh, so fatalistic. We have done so many things and we have improved so much the patient experience in many respects, not just about nausea and vomiting but also in many other things. We just, there are some areas that we can do better. And um, yes, a lot of these drugs that we give, they have also their own side effects. And it's an issue of negotiating with the patients and actually making sure that they understand the implications and make a choice themselves about what they want to, to, to receive. For example, olanzapine, the antipsychotic that I mentioned, uh, has a side effect sedation. And many clinicians are reluctant to prescribe that because of the sedation. But it's, I think, in my view, it's up to the patient to negotiate and say, you know, I can take away your nausea and we can do that. But you might have a little bit of um, um, sedation, uh, so don't drive for the next day. Or, and the patients can decide whether this is for them or not. And whether they want to have a little bit of uh, nausea unmanaged or manage the nausea and have a bit of sedation. So it's, it's uh, I guess, uh, balancing things a little bit better and uh, involving the patients in the decision making.